But they are the tag team champs, no doubt about that. And they are no strangers to tag team gold at all. And we all know, fans, in Wildside, no crime goes unpunished. One way or the other, Blackout are going to get their just deserves for what they did to the original chosen one, Rick Michaels, two weeks ago on Wildside, attacking him with barbed wire brass knuckles and bloodying him up here in the middle of the ring. And I don't know if that is going to deter their focus from defending these bang fucking conservatory tag team titles. They go to work on Windsor and London early. Go for a double clothesline, Blackout sent really hard to the outside. Up and over the top rope. Here come Windsor and London. Baseball slide, make it two of them. Boy, Homicide and Rain Man have had their act curtailed considerably. Paul Here London. comes Paul London with a Topacon Hilo to the outside. Things are going crazy. Jeff G. Bailey needs a new pair of underwear. Uh, things are the way things are turning out for his tag team champions. Blackout this week on Wildside. What a main event is shaping up to be, and it's just started. And the Royal Stud Adam Windsor. Called Dory Funk's prize pupil, his prize protege. Dory Funk Jr. has attested this man's abilities all over the country. He definitely believes that the Royal Stud Adam Windsor is the second coming of a Funk family member. Double underhook by Adam Windsor. Butterfly suplex onto the soul assassin Rain Man. Hook a leg, two count only. And we know what street thugs, homicide, and Rain Man are, but there's no denying the wrestling smarts that they've got. And there's that Dory Funk Jr. patented forearm by the Royal Stud Adam Windsor. Paul London comes in, and what a track record Paul London has. Not only has he trained under Dory Funk Jr., but as well the heartbreak kid Shawn Michaels in San Antonio, Texas. Look at the leg there by London, only a two count. And as I mentioned earlier, too, and Paul London, how many people is considering one of the matches of the year against Osamu Nishimura just a week and a half ago. And a charging shoulder from London. Into the wobbly Rain Man. Snapmare takeover by Paul London. Drops a fist to the face of the Soul Assassin. Lateral press. Rain Man able to roll a shoulder at two. Boy, this Paul London is a fireball. The Royal Stud Adam Windsor, the more technically sound of the two. Paul London, uh, the preferable high flyer. Drop toe hold there by London. Elbow by Adam Windsor. Windsor with the leg. Homicide in quick to break up the cover. Perhaps it's that combination of the more land-based Adam Windsor with the more aerially-based Paul London to make this such a powerful tag team. Been a 10 from the Royal Stud, Adam Windsor, and Rain Man's been in from since the get-go. Big chop in the corner by Adam Windsor. Rain Man in the corner, Windsor follows through, big clothesline. Adam Windsor dominating Rain Man, big DDT of the jumping variety. Well, I don't think Rain Man has faced this much damage to his body yet, ever. Low blow, though, from Rain Man. That certainly will stop Adam Windsor in his tracks. And, of course, casually missed by Andrew Thomas. Sit out jawbreaker by Rain Man. Conveniently, too, I might point out. And Homicide is in. Homicide, the more aggressive of the two. He's not gonna do a lot of flash. Homicide's not gonna flip all over the ring. He's just gonna beat the hell out of you. He's the veteran of the two, the anchor of Blackout. Irish whip. Burning Lariat by Homicide. Homicide quite pleased with himself. But it's gonna take a lot of firepower to take Adam Windsor down. Another forearm shot by Windsor. Remember, it was Blackout who defeated Adam Windsor and his partner at the time, Bone Crusher, in Florida for the Funky Conservatory Tag Team titles. I wonder the fact that Bone Crusher could not make it here this evening because of the damage that Blackout inflicted on him just a couple of weeks back. I wonder if that's going to be a key ingredient. And to get Paul London as a substitute partner, but what a substitute. Oh, this yeah. guy's worked all over the country and all over the world, in Canada, the United States. He's worked south of the border as well. Paul London, Irish whip reversal, homicide, sends him into the corner. Paul London gets, uh, he catches homicide in a head scissors. Homicide sends him out onto the apron, but a forearm shot by London. And rams homicide's head into the top turnbuckle hard. Paul London, springboard, homicide sends him hard to the outside. Paul London comes crashing down thunderously onto the barricade. 
Tory Funk Jr. to checking on his pupil, checking on his protege to make sure he's able to continue this tag team title match. Uh-oh. Homicide and Dory Funk Jr. nose to nose at ringside. Oh, the versionary tactic for Rain Man to zoom in on Paul London, who I believe hit face first on that ring barrier. Dory Funk Jr. is not going to back down from any challenge. The son of Dory Funk Sr., the brother of Terry Funk. This man has been around the wrestling business his entire life, a bona fide legend. He is not going to back down from the challenge of even the most violent tag team in professional wrestling today. And I might point out, too, a member of the only wrestling family that is not dysfunctional. God bless the Funks. Not many of those left. Rain Man now in control of Paul London. Takes him down hard with a forearm shot. Irish whip by Rain Man. Paul London comes back. Spine split up. Paul London managed to get his shoulder up just before the three count. Rain Man and Homicide defending their newly won Funkin' Conservatory Tag Team titles this weekend, your main event on NWA Wildside. Blackout with a Dark City style beatdown in the corner on Paul London. London goes into the far corner, double shoulder tackle, double bulldog by Blackout. You know, Andrew Thomas is one to show an awful lot of leniency when his friends are involved, and he's showing more than his share here this evening. Yeah, Andrew Thomas definitely playing his typical one-sided role here in this fucking conservatory tag team title match here exclusively on NWA Wildside. Knee to the groin by Homicide. Boy, the number of double team maneuvering from a blackout is even more than normal. Dory Funk Jr. circling the ring. Looks like a caged lion. Homicide with a sitting rear chin lock on the pole and a tag made into Rain Man. Dory Funk using a little bit of a uh, psychology against the team of Blackout himself. Well, it's definitely got to be um, in the back of their mind that the former World Heavyweight Champion is on the outside. And if Jeff G. Bailey so much as tries to get involved, I have a feeling that Dory Funk Jr. is going to be waiting in the wings. Paul London counter, sunset flip there. Rayman kicks out. Well, I don't think Black Oss, spinning heel kick. On Paul in London, I don't think even either member of Blackout will admit this, but I think they've got to be somewhat daunted and somewhat ill at ease with Dory Funk Jr., a legend like Dory Funk Jr. at ringside. Blue Thunder Bomb by Homicide. Paul in London gets a shoulder up, nick of time again. Blackout working as a tag team. They are the cohesive tag team unit. Here in NWA Wildside, cutting the ring in half. Quick tags in and out. They were consummate tag team wrestlers. One of the best in the sport today. Doug Watt's clothesline by Paul London. Double eye cross body in the ring. Amazing tag team action. However, we got to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of this action coming up right after this. Hang with us. On June 19th, professional wrestling changes for number DNA. Total non-stop action, history in the making. 52 weeks every Wednesday night, 8 to 10 Eastern. Top NWA superstars from around the world. Guest celebrities in the ring. And the luscious TNA girls. It's only $9.95. TNA every Wednesday starting June 19th. Wednesday nights will never be the same. Call your local cable operator or satellite provider to order. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. You're watching the number one professional wrestling alternative NWA Wildside Interpromotional Tag Team Main Event. The Funkin' Conservatory Tag Team titles on the line. The champions, Blackout, defending against Adam Windsor and Paul London. Big close line by Windsor. Down goes Homicide and another. He scoops him up. Big slam by the Royal Stud. And another. Rain Man tying up Adam Windsor. Oh, that was close. So was that. Big right the money. kick. Forearm shot. But Jeff G. Bailey has Andrew Thomas distracted. And Dory Funk Jr. is going to take a, He's going to take exception to this. Oh, dear. Dory Funk Jr. And Jeff Bailey the forearm. And Jeff Bailey was 25 years old. The spinning two-hole. 
There's a mini tile. We've like got Jason Cross, Adam Jacobs, and Iceberg beating the crap out of the legend Dory Funk Jr. Come on! This man's a legend! This man, wait a minute in the ring! Michaels and Young in the ring! Spine Buster! Double shot by Rick Michaels and David Young on the blackout! Where on earth did they come from? And thank heavens they're here! David Young and Rick Michaels coming in like a bolt out of the blue. Mercy, Dory Funk Jr. with four arm shots to Iceberg. Rick Michaels and Adam Jacobs. Homicide and David Young for Paul London. He's heading up to the top turnbuckle. And Raymond, oh, whoa! Beautiful shooting star. We have new fucking conservatory tag team champs. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match. A new fucking conservatory tag team champions, Paul London and the Royal Stud, Adam Winter.